you had a very good start to the golden jacket. Um, you got four through to the semi-finals. Yes, uh, uh, the first heat didn't uh, go exactly according to plan. Uh, our first race of the day with I am Alexi, who who decided to uh, stop at the uh, sow and when she was um, looking uh, a most likely winner. Um, and unfortunately, once she realised the race wasn't over, it was too late for her to get going, and uh, um, she she was eliminated. Um, that that I thought, here we go, uh, you know, first runner of the day, and that's just happened. Um, you know, it uh, it's going to be a real struggle, but uh, it did get better, thankfully, and uh, um, it was good to see Antigua run firstly win his heat. Um, he was a semi finalist last year. And he took his heat in, in in good style, and then of course our anti post favourite Bo Shine Bullet uh, was really in what was a very competitive heat, uh, quite impressive winning um, in a in a real good time. Um, she looks a worthy favourite for it, and then we had the added bonus of um, seeing uh, another two of ours qualify with. Everstorm and Annie News, who were behind um, uh, an ultra impressive uh, Salakas Pippi, who who recorded the fastest time by a couple of spots. So, in all, it was a it was it was a decent morning for the team with two nice winners and four qualifiers going into the semi-finals. Perfect. We'll um, we're going to do a a, uh, a preview of, of each of the semi-finals, and well, perhaps it's a separate piece if if you're happy to do that. Uh, yeah. But I have to obviously mention the, the Buzzy as well, which you have run us in, in, the, in the first round. Um, just remind me, your record in that is something slightly bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, well, up to two years ago, we had, uh, we'd won it uh, six consecutive times. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it not happened the last couple of years. But uh, I think we, this year we've um, perhaps got a stronger team than we've had in, in the last couple of years. So, you know, we, we'd have a reasonable chance of um, uh, of maybe um, get, <laughs> grabbing another victory. Although looking at the entry for, for the actual Peter Buzzy, I'd say it's one of the strongest entries um, that they've had for, for, for some years. Um, you know, it seems like there's a lot of the Essex Vars, uh, that there was a strong competition. There's quite a few of them. Um, came for it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, obviously we got our um, Essex Vars winner Antigua Romeo um, entered and uh, yeah, we've got a decent team but it is a, a good competition and it will take some winning. I was looking um, just to go through the the, the buzzy, the, the, the first heat, you've got uh, Tosar Zelda and Antigua Boy up against each other. Um, Kilar Icon in there as well for Peter Hand and it, um, it's, it's, it's a, and that's that's uh, not dismissing any of the others, but those three in themselves would would make it a decent eight. Yeah, so Antigua um, um, boy was most impressive last week, winning a trial stakes in thirty three fifty, um, and he's very hit and miss though. Um, uh, you know, on his day, he's an extremely fast dog, and if he could, um, you know, run like he did last week, he, he he'd have a great chance not only of winning that heat but uh, the whole competition overall. Um, Toastar Zelda um, is getting on a little bit in years now, but she loves Crayford. Um, didn't run particularly well. Actually, didn't th thought she might struggle to get in the competition based on last week's run, but uh, she's got track one this time, and that's a that's a big plus for her. Um, but as I say, she's probably coming to the twilight of her career now, but uh, I wouldn't rule her out totally. You know, and a very interesting runner from from Peter with uh, Clara Reich, and whether that would be suited to Crayford or not, I'm not so sure, but. Uh, uh, we, we'll find out Saturday. I was going to say, I mean, you obviously, you've been so successful in the competition. Do you do you go into it with a confident that a dog will run, a cra uh, run Crayford well, or or do you go into it sort of saying, well, let's let's see how they go around? I mean, what, what, what's, your, what's your thought process with it? Yeah, we, we always try and have a think, um, you know, as we do with the Golden Jacket, you know, once the Golden Jacket entries are there, I'm thinking about what... Uh, you know, dogs uh, might be suited to the 540 with that competition in mind. Um, and uh, sometimes they strike you quite early, a few months early. You think, oh, that would be a natural for the for the 540 at Crayford. Not not just for the Peter Buzzy, but maybe for, I mean, the Peter Buzzy, uh, lo lovely little competition and everything, but it's only a Category 2 um, for, for a couple of grand, doesn't it? You know, the, the gold collar is obviously more important later in the year, which is a full Category 1 and... Uh, and and you know carries a lot more sort of 
weight um, um, regards to prize money and points and all that. So, um, um, you know, we've always tried to find decent uh, 540 dogs. It's not always um, the ones from, say, Romford that, that run five, 575 at Romford. Sometimes it could be a, a four Ben dog um, that, that's just taking that little step up in trip and uh, maybe one that's not top class, but one that's been winning open sort of thing. I, I think this year our ones are, are mainly come from the Essex Vars with uh, obviously the winner, Antigua Romeo, the likes of Antigua Boy and uh, um, Hope Doggy, who was in the uh, um, first round of the, uh, you know, who got eliminated from the first round of the Essex Vars. He actually did a really good trial um, on Saturday morning before racing 33. 70 of which we was pleased to so that that might be his kind of track hopes doggy yeah i noticed he's in the second heat up against uh, desperado dan I, I think the dog you've come across before um uh, just a few times yes <laughs> <laughs> uh have you had a look at the race track five yeah um I'd, I'd prefer him to be a little bit further in in, in track four or three to be honest with you. i think five's a bit too far out for him but having said that he did a really good trial on Saturday. Um, he's a fast dog. We haven't really seen the best of him yet. Um, you know, he, he's he, he ran well in the uh, at the start of the derby, and then it all went wrong. Um, didn't really um, cut too much ice in the Essex Vars, and he's had a couple of wins in between. But I'm sure, you know, in time he, he could prove to be a real good sort of sharp six bend dog. I, I think if uh, we stay patient and that's the big thing, I mean, Nick and Amanda are extremely patient people like, but uh, you know, they want to see dogs that can win competitions and uh, you know, he, he needs to improve and improve pretty quickly if he's going to still be part of our team sort of thing. But um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, he, he can show us what he's made of uh, and uh him a, a pretty decent chance of winning this competition overall if I'm honest I think he's got the pace and speed to to be really suited to a Crayford and I, I'd sort of make him a sort of leading contender to win the the, the Peter Buzzy this year. That's interesting because I, I I wondered about well looking at the third heat um, Lexi, I am Lexi and Antigua Romeo and one of the points I was going to make it, frequently with it with a Peter Buzzy you've You've entered dogs that are category two dogs, um, but these are both category one dogs, or certainly Antigua Romeo is, is, is proven to be. Um, you know, they, they, clearly they, they would also be in, in the thick of it. Again, Blue Tick George, Gold de Gino, it's, it's not going to be an easy heat either, the third one, is it? No, that's definitely the hardest heat of the three. Um, um, I mean, I think Antigua Romeo. Um, you know, you know, we've entered him because you know he needs to run in these big competitions. Time, he, he's a he's for him, mate. You know, he's not going to get a great deal of opportunities in competitions and everything. I just don't. I feel like he can run Crayford, and if he came to his best form, there's not a dog in the competition that can touch him, in my opinion. Like, yeah, but I just don't feel Crayford is maybe as a good a track for him as say Romford. Like, yeah, but. Uh, don't write him off because he's a great race dog. And I, I thought he actually, although, although he got beat on Saturday by Blue Tick George, he's quite uh, capable of turning that form round. Um, and, um, you know, I was actually so really surprised to see Blue Tick George, <laughs> A, dropped into to, to a 540. Um, you know, I'm not criticising anybody, but I, I naturally thought he'd be a massive runner in the golden jacket, having, uh, yeah. you know, stayed a stiff. Um, 710 metres at Perry Bar quite well uh, you know I, I, I was almost pleased not to see him in the golden jacket because I, I thought that increased our chances I think uh, but look as I say I'm not criticising the trainer or the owner they, they want it may, may well be that the preparation hasn't gone quite too well. uh, yes of, of course like, yeah, yeah. That, 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 it, it was just my surprise like, yeah. you know, it doesn't, doesn't mean much. anything by it or anything like that and uh, no. you know it was really impressive winning it's 514 it could well bolt in in this whole competition and they'll say, well, that's why we did it. Uh, yeah. uh, and they'll be proved right, right? Yeah, but, um, you know, it's a fast dog, yeah. But I, I just wonder if if the 540 might just be a bit sharp for it. Um, we'll say anyway, that that's a real tough heat, that is. And Antigua Romeo is going to be a, a, have to 
be, be at his real best. Well, I am selected. What, what can we say about her? We've just mentioned, um, you know, that um, she she stopped at the sale um, in the golden jacket. You know, well, clearly five forty. She got a great record out. It, it was the only thing to do was to to actually drop her into this competition. But um, you you know, you, you, your heart's going to be in your mouth every time she runs now. If she leads up, is she going to stay there or, 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 or is she going to do anything wrong again? Like, but um, hopefully she'll be fine and, uh, um, you know, she, she she's quick enough to win win this event and uh, um, and the race itself, of course. Like, yeah, it's, it's a real tough eat, that one, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, so make a decent final. It's a great idea, good initiative from the GBGB and will be a, a really interesting for a lot of people, of course. The, the the awards for the owners mean so much, you know, um, in each category um, and not just for the dogs, the uh, the recognition for, 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 for people as well. And, uh, you know, I hope it's a, a big success and it's, uh, you know, it would have been a shame to, to, to miss out and just see it in print. So this is a good idea to try and generate, um, you know, a bit of interest. I'm sure it'll be enjoyable for an hour or two. And, uh, yeah, you know, and hopefully the, the awards um, go. Um, I think they're very competitive. I think we, we always see some surprises, don't we, you know. But, yeah. um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens on that. And, you, and, you're, and you'll be hoping I am the Royale for, what, for the bitches and the marathon? And possibly, yes. If you won the marathon, then she's she's in the in the shout for the ground of the year as well, isn't she? She certainly is. I, I think she's a live contender. I, I, I think you'd, you'd obviously be betting long odds on for her to to win the marathon division. I think if she she certainly would have a a, a good chance. But in the, in the bitch of the year, obviously small maids in that uh, as well, which is. Uh, um, you, you know, achieved achieved a lot last year, so it, it's, it's interesting. You know, ne you never really know how how sometimes these, uh, you know, how they're going to get called. Like, but um, I, I think for, for me, I, I, I've always had a reason why I, I am the royal. Um, personally, should 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 have a great chance of ground of the year is because she's got that wow factor. You know, she's she she she's simply jaw dropping when you see a, a marathon bitch. Um, drop out of races and then come through to win them in, in great style. The Cesare Rich final, you know, the, the, the match between her and uh, Roxanne Christoph was so well talked about outside the sport, not just, just inside it as well. Yeah. Um, the, how many grounds last year? You, you, yes, the four bend grounds sometimes, you know, they're harder divisions to win. There's no doubt about it, you know, the, and maybe even the six bands like, yeah, and, and there's not so, so always so competitive in, in the marathon divisions, but she's had that little well factor that uh, we don't always get every year. And, uh, you know, we may not have had the greatest year in our kennels history, but we have a great chance of winning um, perhaps a ground of the year, which is, which is quite amazing, really. So, um, you know, fingers crossed that uh, she, she, she does. And, and if she does, that'd be fantastic. It, it was great, really. We, we, we finished um, um, like the um, uh, Emily and um, Sid were down at Crayford and um, Kat and uh, Kevin went to Toasted um, just before we fed. So we, I, I stayed at the kennels to feed the dogs. Daniel was going to Mom Moy. It's a real busy day sort of thing but once we would fed and everything then we we turned uh tuned into toaster tv while i was working in the afternoon and um it, it was a great watch it was a lovely sunny day it made great racing yeah it was fantastic really i, I thought the the whole production from toaster tv with hobsey and clarky was 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 great and uh gary wiltshire and kevin minter there it, it, it looked uh fantastic you know and it was um really well put together i hope there was a few people who paid a five and thought wow well, that was well worth it of course it helps when you have a few winners as well and we started off with the first three three winners and uh won won our fourth race in the fifth race yeah it was um it, it was good to see and uh the final itself well we couldn't do no better we got our fella out the traps call of annie kaiser he led up to the first show tremendous pace to, to lead up to the first Ben. He only did one thing wrong and he just left a little gap on the inside. And when you've got a dog like Clara Lyon, it doesn't need any second invites to, to take that up. It, uh, you know, it was simply awesome when it went down the back straight. 
Uh, we had a slight chance at the third bend if we could have just shut the door on 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 the on, on the fella. But uh, you know, maybe you know the, the I wouldn't say our fella wasn't brave, but maybe Clara, Clara Lyon is just one of those um, you know rare dogs. Isn't he? Uh, I mean, he's well known. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes things happen. And 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 to be fair, it, it was a worthy winner of the competition. Um, and 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 you know, it goes without saying with what happened to. Um, Bocco's dooming for Patrick in the first round. It was probably a deserving winner. Um, we we was hugely delighted with our fellow Call of Only Kaiser coming second, and onwards and upwards there. Like you know, we had a, there was a great marathon race in the race after, and Irons the Royal was having her first run of the the season, but um, you know um, just couldn't get to an absolutely inspirational affirmed on the day. That was a fantastic race. Um, awesome to watch, you know, for a grueling 940 metres. But, uh, you know, we, we was pleased with Iams Royal, but, um, you know, people might think you'd be disappointed that she got beat. But um, to be fair, affirmed, who's, who's, who's a great marathon dog himself, um, just, just was the better dog on the day.